good, a very good day to all of you from Team Wordaholics. Uh, it is day 101 of our course that we have started on vocabulary. As is the tradition, uh, we keep on sending five difficult words which are very, very important from the point of view of examinations like CAT, SAT, GRE, GMAT, uh, SSC, UPSC and banking. These difficult words are very, very necessary for your English section uh, that comes and comprehension uh, uh, section which comes in your uh, competitive exams. So the words that we are going to discuss today are morose, motley, multifarious, mundane and mutilate. Out of these five words that we uh, keep on sending you on a daily basis, the words which are absolutely important to, for you to learn as of now are morose, multifarious and mundane. The rest two words uh, depends upon your choice. If you are interested, you can pause the video and have a look at it and learn more about it if you are seriously interested, but otherwise you can leave it for the time being. Now we'll go uh, word by word uh, uh, for the understanding of this word and for learning it through the special way that we teach of underlining through mnemonics and usage so that you can remember this word for a very long time. Um, what is the meaning of morose? Morose means something that is sulky, gloomy, something which is unsmiling or humorless. A very grim situation is a morose situation. Antonym would be cheerful and happy. Just opposite of that would be cheerful and happy. O opposite is gloomy or sour. Uh, Hindi would be udas. Pronunciation, mau, mau rose, morose. More rose. So it is a shortcut of remembering this word for a longer time. Uh, you bring more roses. Suppose someone's mother has died and you are going for the funeral. So you will be taking more roses with you. You will take, you'll be taking uh, some roses with you along. So probably that is how you can remember this word for a longer time. Someone's mother has died and you are taking roses for her funeral. So how do we use this word? Uh, uh, morose and depressing look is how we can use this word. Morose expressions on the face is how we can use this word. Sentence one. Jimmy Shergill star shortcut safari is a dull morose affair that can be skipped, says Times of India. <coughs> Second sentence two, biking gives me wings. It's a perfect cure for depression. It is very exhilarating and takes you out of any morose thoughts. Sentence three, Dishum is a refreshing breakaway from the morose repetitive Bollywood storylines thanks to the backdrop of high speed sports car and exuberant life, uh, life nightlife. Sentence four, Corporate Tiger Reserve has issued strict and morose order to shoot at sight of any poacher preventing killing, prevent killing of tigers. Motley is a uh, word that we'll be skipping for the time being. If you're interested, you can pause the video and have a look at it. Uh, we'll go to the other word, which is multifarious for today. Multifarious means diverse, multiple, heterogeneous, varied, myriad. Uh, Hindi would be vivid and tarah tarah ke. Antonym is uh, homogeneous. Something which is opposite of diverse is something which is uniform, which is homogeneous. Pronunciation is multifarious. Multifari as multifarious. So, uh, what is the secret of remembering this word for a longer time? Uh, we will go by the picture, the visual method. Uh, look at the fair. Uh, look at the underlined portion of the word multifair. Two parts of it, multi and fair. Fair sounds like fair that we have mela in Hindi, which is uh, a multiple number of uh, skills, multiple number of shops, multiple number of people, multiple number of entities opening their shops, selling and buying things. So that is the meaning of a place where multiple type of uh, places have accumulated, diverse, multiple, heterogeneous uh, types of people have accumulated is a multifarious uh, thing. So how do we use these words? Uh, we keep on uh, providing you with sentences from across the best resources across the magazines, blogs, and uh, internet resources. So the usages are India's multifarious population, multifarious interests. Sentence one, fruits are known to harbor multifarious health benefits with every different fruit offering us not just one, but numerous nutritional properties. Sentence two, India assured multifarious support to Nepal, agreements to enhance cooperation in banking, insurance and power were made. Sentence three, one of the multifarious roles that the president assumes as the first citizen of India is that of being a patron in chief of arts. Sentence four, each tree has multifarious properties apart from ensuring an oxygenated supply of air for us. Now the next word that we'll be dealing today, discussing today is mundane. Mundane is monotonous, mundane is dull, mundane is repetitive, mundane is pedestrian customary, something which is very, very ordinary, something which is very, very uh, normal. So opposite would be something that is ex extraordinary, something which is monotonous, the opposite would be extraordinary, something which is very interesting. Hindi for mundane would be nearest, sadharan, pronunciation is mundane. 
So what is the secret for remembering this particular word? Mundane sounds like Monday. Look at the uh, boy in the visual that we have provided. He is very bored with his particular work uh, that is that falls on a Monday. He has had a very action-packed weekend. He has enjoyed his weekend. He has boozed. He has partied all night for Saturday and Sunday. And then, then he comes on a Monday to work and then he finds uh, the off is very boring, very monotone, is very dull, repetitive. So Mondays are mundane is how you can remember this word for a longer time. Usage, mundane routine, mundane life, mundane affairs. Uh, sentence one, R. Rajamouli's new film ushers new hope for the otherwise mundane formula based films. All the films look similar because they are following each other. Sentence two, domestic violence, harassment, rape and molestation have become mundane issues of women suffering as men take count. Sentence three, software bots are used to automate mundane business processes, um, uh, tasks liberating engineers to think, create and innovate. Sentence four, engineers are employed by large IT companies to do repetitive and mundane tasks by filing log sheets and generating tickets. Uh, we'll leave mutilate for the time being. Mutilate basically means disfiguring, mangling, butchering, dismembering, tearing off, uh, lacerating. Uh, if you are interested in this word, you can pause the video and have a look at it. We have provided a beautiful way of uh, through the mnemonic to remember this particular word for a long time. That's all for today from Wordaholics. And as we keep on saying, we keep on saying to our students and learners and patrons across uh, India, keep sounding sophisticated in wherever you are dealing, in your social settings, in your offices, keep sounding sophisticated, keep scoring more in life, in competitions, in life also. Uh, if you have a friend, as we keep on asking you, if you have a friend, if you have a relative, if you have somebody, a colleague or some relative would be interested in uh, learning these new words through the method in which we teach them, you can ask them to SMS uh, ADD or WhatsApp ADD to 95463074522. That is the WhatsApp number to receive these power words daily for free. Uh, we also have uh, a particular book uh, on, on a similar lines for anybody who is interested in speaking English fluently and impressing people in less than 30 days. Uh, through this particular book, this particular book is a compilation of the best resources that is available on the, in the world uh, in terms of mastering spoken English in a very, very short time. You need not go through multiple number of books. You need not, uh, this particular book opens up a lot of uh, secrets of the language learning uh, ninjas, basically the fast learners, the hackers, how to hack spoken English is what is the content of this particular book. If somebody is interested, if you are interested, you can download this particular book for uh, on Amazon Kindle and you can uh, read this particular book. That's all for today. Thank you so much. Thank you from Team Wordaholics. Thank you.